Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is February 20th, and as you can see, we're currently in the gym so that I can do my workout this morning, but we also need to do a weigh-in video. So I have not posted a video on the channel for I think 10 or 11 days. So in today's video, we will be doing the weigh-in for weeks six and seven of 2023. Um, yeah, so I got a message. I received a message from my friend Helen over at Way to Go, Way to Go, like W E I G H, two, G O, Way to Go, and she's like, "Hey Felicia, I hope you're okay." <laughs> so the last thing I want you guys to do is worry about me. I'm actually doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Um, but I had stopped weighing myself, and and stopped weighing myself. I guess I forgot, like. Cool, cool. you do weigh-in videos like you're just not gonna because I had decided honestly guys I decided I wasn't gonna weigh in again until until March 6th because I've been if you guys haven't seen my last video I talked about like since I've been weightlifting and all of that like how I was starting to gain weight and how I didn't want to confuse anyone but um yeah so Helen just Helen this video is because of you and you also made me appreciate that I should still be consistent on the channel because people are following the journey. All right guys, so today is February 20th as I may or may not have mentioned and I did wake up and weigh in, thanks Helen. <laughs> so I wanna share with you guys the weigh in but I also decided that maybe an even more productive way that I could shoot these videos is to share with you guys like the highs and the lows from the week before and in this case it's gonna be from the last two weeks. So the low for the last two weeks, it's only, there's only been one. Like I was having difficulty finding um, my proper fasting schedule because when I started lifting, I think I, took, I shared with you guys before, I found that I was just like so incredibly hungry and I kept reopening my window. Yeah, that's actually all, I wrote down notes. That's the only low that I have. But a few positives that I wanna share with you guys, you guys, these are so incredible, okay. All right, first of all, I don't know when I stopped crossing my legs, but all I know is like, I've started crossing my legs again. Like one day I noticed I was sitting at an assisted living facility and I was like charting on a patient's chart. So like I'm sitting, hold on, let me move the computer. Hold on, let me move the camera because I got to show you guys like what I'm talking about here. no I'll insert a picture because I took a picture of it that's how proud I was so I was like sitting with my legs crossed and the computer on top of me because when you do home health like there is little room for you in a patient's home environment right like there's barely ever any room to sit barely ever any room to put your stuff um, but I was like sitting and I just felt like so tiny and compact yes tiny at 200 pounds yes and I was just doing my note and I was like girl when did this happen hey i love it so that was definitely a positive for the last um for the last two weeks and then also another positive was i had tried on this dress and i'm not sure if i showed you guys here yet actually yes i showed you in a reel but not in a video so my husband and i were going to a um a, a service and i he wanted me to wear you know I put on the dress and the dress was like way too big and he's like you we've got to get you another dress <laughs> so I want to share with you guys like the dress that was too big here it is here and then the dress that he bought me oh it was so cute like I love the way it fits I put it here I just love the way that this dress fits it just looks so nice and I love it I love it um and another positive another good thing that happened um over the last two weeks since i haven't been um like uploading here to youtube i'm sorry i have been uploading to youtube shorts so if you look for me and i haven't uploaded a video here yet check youtube shorts and also check instagram reels and i'm also pretty active in instagram stories like every day so follow me there it's at happily ever after living underscores so another good thing that has happened, um, two, it, they go, there's two, like they go together. So one is that I've changed my diet. Like I found something that works for me and I'll be doing a, an upcoming video, but I am so excited. 
I have switched to alternate day fasting. I'm sorry, I have switched to modified alternate day fasting. And I do want to share, you guys, there is an amazing fasting channel. If you go check her out, please tell her that Felicia sent you over there. Her name is Jackie. Um, and the name of her channel is intermittent fasting foodie like she has amazing videos amazing oh my oh my gosh like honestly if i ever decided that i'm just gonna like change my entire channel to like intermittent fasting only like i wouldn't even try to go create a new blueprint like i'm just being honest and jackie if you ever see this video i would literally like just create what she's done like in my own way i'm so serious like her videos are so informative and last week i was like Last week and the week before, I was like binging her content. And I just want to say that um, you guys know I typically don't eat flour or sugar. But during this week, um, this past weekend, we finally celebrated Valentine's Day with our boys. And I actually allowed myself some treats. Yep, I'm going to show you guys right here what I had. Um, now, granted, this, this is not something that me personally, like, I'll do all the time. Jackie's so good. Like, even during her journey. During her entire weight loss journey, she was able to eat like, you know, treats and stuff. Not all the time, but like she was definitely able to eat exactly what she wanted when she wanted for the most part. But for me, I do have to be very careful with sugar and flour. Um, but it was just really nice to be able to allow myself to have this lovely dessert. And it wasn't like the next day I was like craving more or anything like that. It was just like, yeah, like you had it. It was nice. Um... Yeah, and I'm just back to my regular diet, like regular way of eating. And for you, and for those of you that are new, when I say diet, literally it's like the way that I eat. You know, like to me, intermittent fasting really is my lifestyle. Um, I've been fasting for quite a few months now. And what I really love about intermittent fasting is that you can allow yourself to play with it. And there's so much flexibility within it. Like you can do OMAD, you guys will look on the... You guys, if you go back and look on the channel, you'll see plenty of videos where I've done like OMAD. Um, you can do, which is one meal a day. You can do two meals a day. You can do, like there's just so many different ways that you can do intermittent fasting. But currently I am doing alternate day fasting and I love it because on the days that I eat, I mean, on the days that I've lived, I leave my eating window open. So far it's been nine hours. My goal is to get it down to six hours. But the fact that like, I can eat as much, um, I'm definitely more of a volume eater, I'll be honest, but the fact that I'm able to eat more calories like on those days, I absolutely love it. My body loves it. And as you'll see in today's weigh-in, it's actually responding to it, so I love that. But again, we'll talk more about that later. All right, guys, so let's talk about this week's weigh-in. So, you guys know in the last video where I shared week four, and fives weigh in. I think I was like, I was gaining weight and like in week four, I think I was like 223.8 or so. And then in week five, I was 222.6. Week six, I have no idea how much I weighed because I was just like, not like angry done with the scale, but I knew I was putting in the work. Like I've been very consistent with my workouts. Um, I've been consistent with my way of eating. So I was just like, I'm not gonna weigh in <laughs> until March 6th. But I weighed in this morning and you guys oh my gosh oh my gosh like you're not gonna believe this okay <laughs> so i weighed in this morning at 220.0 i'll put it here what that is crazy like honestly i don't know if i lost like so obviously i've lost 2.6 pounds and i don't know if i lost it like all in last week or all in the week before i don't know which is partially why i need to come back and do weekly weigh-ins but hey hello hello can we just dance for a minute yes the scale's moving again and it's going back down so that's really good to see um again i told you guys i had just made up my mind that i was going to continue with the way i was eating and lifting and all of this stuff because i knew i was doing the right thing i'm just gonna assume that Perhaps my body needed like an adjustment period and also, um, so, okay. So technically for myself, I wouldn't like sit and try to make sense of it all. I would just be celebrating like, yay. But with you guys, I just want to share that I, if I had to think about it, I would think that 
maybe my body was going through an adjustment period with the weightlifting, which is, it's additional stress. Um, when you're lifting weights, it's additional stress on the body. So perhaps my body was just trying to figure out like, whoa girl, okay, so not only are we fasting, but we're also lifting and we're, you know, just trying to balance everything. And I had a few stressful weeks of work in there too. Sure did, not gonna lie. So, you know, maybe my, my body just needed like some time to adjust a little bit. I don't know, I don't know, but it's good to see that the scale is going down again. All right, so we've got to get into this workout. Let's go, yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. Also, I'll share with you guys that this top is getting to be a little bit too large. And my bottoms, like my bottoms are definitely not. These are supposed to be tight. See this extra material here? So I can definitely tell that I'm losing inches and that's really nice. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Hey guys, and it's at this part of the video where I realized I forgot to do an outro. But as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And in the next video, I will be sharing with you guys the way that I currently eat and how beneficial I think it's been for weight training. Talk to you soon. Bye!